Welcome. Happy fall, everyone. This is an easy dollar store fall centerpiece. This was purchased from the Dollar Tree and this is what it looks like in the packaging. Uh, this is really made for real flowers as I just stated, but I wanted to show you how you can still use it for faux flowers uh, in this. And I'm just pressing down this, wood, this uh, MDF sign and making a line through there. Uh, take it as deep as you want the sign to go in there. I want it to be in there pretty good, so I'm making it pretty deep, but the only problem is I did kind of cover up blessed. These are floral pins, and you will need some of these, um, or I think you do. They really help with things like this, with centerpieces and stuff, pinning down flowers and signs and things like that. Um, I did staple these to the sign and since it's so thin of course the staples went through even with the cardboard backing um, I used the smallest staples I had so just use your best judgment you may just want to hot glue them on and see how long that lasts Adding a second layer of cardboard still wasn't enough. It still came through the other side. Um, it's going to be all covered up with, you know, between the styrofoam and the deco mesh and all the decorations. You won't be able to see it. And I do hammer it down. You'll see that later. I hammer down the front so they're not sticking out. So it's just really up to you whether you're not you're okay with it look, looking like that or not. Um, like I said, it won't be seen, so it's not a big deal for me. Of course, I'm taking off the stickers on the back and then I'm hot gluing the ends of the pins so they stay in the styrofoam better. Um, the only mistake I made here is I didn't measure the length of the styrofoam, so I went over just a little bit on the pins. Um, I just cut those off. It wasn't a big deal, but you might want to measure that if you make one.
I'm hot gluing the ends of the pins to keep it permanent in the styrofoam. You could still yank it out if you needed to, but it's going to be more sturdy and stay longer. Again, you can ruffle or, or make spirals out of the deco mesh, whichever you prefer. And you can group them in just one grouping or up to three or four, however many you want. Now I'm gonna add some tubing. I love to use this stuff. You can do different things with it, but it just adds a different element. Um, use what you have. I'm gonna show, towards the end of the video, I'll show you uh, how to add uh, just some regular green leaves and some raffia. Just kinda use what you've got, or you know, if you buy stuff, and just go through your, you know, whatever your little craft room or craft stuff and see what you've got and just add little bits of everything. These two colors of tubing I'm using are a green and a golden yellow. I bought them both from the Dollar Tree in the fall section. Now I'm going to add this pretty sequin pumpkin and you can find these at the dollar stores. You can even find these at the craft stores or probably even Walmart. So they're available just about anywhere. I'm using these green wood stakes or picks. Uh, they're just floral picks. Uh, you can buy anywhere in the floral department at any craft store. Now I'm going to attach these fall leaves and they're just flat fall leaves that you get in a package. Uh, you can get these at the dollar store as well. And I've got a little trick though to make them look more realistic. When you add the hot glue in the center, bottom center there and you go to attach it, give it a little pinch, like one or two little pinches and it'll give it more of a 3D look. You can see here where I am pinching it and how it makes the leaves kind of stand out instead of just being flat against the sign. And it really makes them look a lot more realistic, I think.
Now I'm going to add some raffia. Raffia is a good way to add a natural element and it's also inexpensive and it goes forever. You get a bag of this stuff and it lasts you so long. This bag actually had orange black and then the regular natural raffia so I can use it on different things. But I really like to add some kind of little natural element to every centerpiece or floor arrangement that I make. So raffia is a good way to do that. So just move it around like I'm doing here and see where you like it. I'm actually, I think I end up putting it in a few different places. So you may just want to put it in one place or you may want it in several places. Just move it around like this and see what looks best to you. Now I'm not using a Chanel stem on these, I'm just using these floral pins and just putting it over the center of the mesh. I'm still gathering the mesh in the center and pinching it like I would if I was going to twist it with a Chanel stem, but instead I'm just using the floral pick and I'm only doing one ruffle and it's working fine. Now I'm filling in the back side. So you need to think about where you're gonna sit this. If it's gonna be a centerpiece in the middle of your table, of course you want all the sides nice and full. You could even put two signs back to back or leave a little gap between them and put like some garland or maybe some mesh coming out of there. Um, but just think about where you're gonna sit it and you could even, as you're making it, go set it there and kind of walk by and see how it looks, see if you can see any of the foam, and then just keep adding in and filling in the gaps from there.
I'm adding the scarecrow to finish it off. Um, I also found some really small scarecrows at the Dollar Tree that you could put in kind of down at the bottom or off to the sides or you could even glue it up to the top there. But I'm putting this big one, I liked him. I thought it was really cute. I decided to go in with these leaves and some raffia at the end just to show you some natural elements and then I also add a daisy in there. You see there's da I think there's daisies on those signs. Um, I just have some of these extra leaves all over when I use a bunch of flowers. Um, I'll save a lot of the leaves and I'll even save some of the stems. As you see I cut off some of those stems and now I'm using them in the leaves that's how I'm sticking them in there. So I just saved things like that. Not a bunch of it, but just little bits of it here and there because, see, I ended up using it on this and it added some more natural elements to it and also filled in. Thanks for watching everyone. Please subscribe, tap the bell for notifications, share any of my videos that you like please and comment. Um, I love to hear from everyone. So thanks again for watching and supporting my channel.